a day in the life of a neurosurgeon at a medical conference. Check my last vlog for day one, so here's day two and three. Me and my PA Erica started the day with getting a pedicure. I was really happy to have freshly painted toes since we were planning on going out on the beach. We went back up to the room to do a quick outfit change and then we went back to the conference to get our learning on. After all, that is the point of why we're here, right? After we listened to a few lectures, we went to the exhibit hall. Here you can see Erica using some augmented reality in order to visualize the spine without actually visualizing the spine. We also got our hands in on some robotic spine surgery. And then I also got to play around with the augmented reality. It was getting close to lunch by this time, so we went back up to the room to drop some stuff off and then head back down to the pool to grab some lunch. Places in Miami aren't what they really seem, and this place that we went to lunch was actually like a real club. We met up with Dr. Daisy Sanchez and had some lunch and then filmed some TikToks after we were done. I've eaten so much on this trip, so I decided to go up to the gym and get my workout on. After all, the treadmill did have a really nice view of the pools and the ocean. Yes, I am one of those people that works out on vacation. We all got changed, took showers, and we went to Powell for dinner, and this was a super cool place out in Miami. The ambiance at this restaurant was absolutely unbelievable. It's a modern Asian cuisine, and it was definitely a restaurant that I would go back again. It was absolutely delicious. We were able to sit outside, and I highly recommend sitting outside if you guys ever decide to come to this restaurant. It served tapas style, so between the five of us, we got about eight different dishes, and we were able to try so many different things. The coffee was really good, and the desserts were amazing. I got this little pineapple thing, and it was so freaking good. After dinner, we then went to a penthouse where they overlooked the intercoastal waterway. It was such a beautiful view. We met Marcel Katz, who owns the Art Plug Studio, and the entire studio was literally like a big piece of art. There was paintings on the walls, the floors, everywhere you looked, it was artwork. I am not artsy whatsoever, so I was simply amazed by the artistic abilities of this young man. We toured the three-bedroom studio, and we even went outside on the penthouse and played some basketball with some black light. I mentioned the view, right? We were pretty tired after this, so we went back to the hotel to grab some sleep before we went back to the conference on Saturday morning. After the talks on Saturday morning, we headed down to the spa and had a wonderful full deep tissue massage. We had lunch by the ocean side and then we went out to a beach to enjoy the warm weather and it was hot on Saturday. We then ventured down to South Beach to have some Cuban food and when we came back, we decided to slum it in some sweatpants and play some heads up. Sometimes just gossip and relaxing with the girls on Saturday night is all you need. On Sunday morning, we packed our bags up and headed to the airport. We went and had some Cuban espresso, and we went to an arepas bar that was so good. If you ever go to Miami, check out Doggy's Arepas Bar. You will not be disappointed. I had the pork belly. So that was the end of our trip. All four of us had an amazing time. We learned a lot, we laughed a lot, and we enjoyed each other's company. And now back to Atlanta.